Hey there, everyone. Let's talk about Missouri State withholding the Missouri State tax rates for 2021. They have released, Missouri has released the 2020, 20, uh, 2021 withholding guide. So we have, um, they issued it back here in December. So we have all the information we need to do Missouri State tax withholding. It's not too bad. Now, I know that there are cities and counties and districts and stuff within Missouri, especially with St. Louis. I have done St. Louis payroll before within Missouri. This video is not going to show how to do that. This is just going to be Missouri State as a whole. Uh, I'll probably do another video in the future for St. Louis because I know how complicated it is in the past. So let's just talk about Missouri State rates right now. Uh, you want, what you want to do is you want to annualize your wages after you get the, the loan piece of information that you need about your employee. There are no allowances or, or exemptions um, that you need to grab from the Missouri, the MOW-4, but you do need to get the state filing status. It's either going to be married, single, or head of household when it comes to the tax rates. As you can see, this shows up in red until you fill one for the employee out. Once you get that status off the MO, the Missouri W-4, the MO-4, that's really all you need to go ahead and start figuring out what the tax rates are going to be. So Missouri state rates are a little tiny bit tricky in their formula, but really not too bad. So you're going to annualize the wages first, so figure out what the gross pay is for the pay period, and then multiply it by the pay periods. And then you're, all you need to do is pull out the Missouri standard deduction for whatever filing status they are. Here are the 2021 standard deductions for Missouri. Singles, 12,550. Married, 25,100. That's married where only one spouse works. It's not the married where two spouse works. You should just choose single if, if it's both spouses working because they want you to withhold at the single rate. So keep that in mind when you put their, fi their filing status in. Also head of households, 18,800. So you're going to deduct that out from the annualized wages depending on what filing status they are. Then you just have to run this kind of little annoying formula to figure out what their taxable, uh, what the tax is going to be withheld for the period. And the reason why this formula is a little bit annoying is that there, there's all these different tax brackets all within the first $8,700 of taxable income, which is kind of odd. It just means that that they really break down the tax rates by like $1,000 at a time here almost. And you pay either 1.5%, 1%, 2%, 2.5%, 3%, all the way up on this incremental income, all the way up to 8,704, and then it's 5.4% after that. So it's basically a 5.4% effective rate for Missouri, but there's all these weird little tax rates it, before you get to that first 8,700. So the way to, to write that is a nested if formula where you have to add up all these amounts um, right here. You have to add up all these amounts that uh, are added each time you cross over a different threshold of income right here. So this is what the formula looks like. I could paste it if you want me to paste it because it is really annoying to write, but it's just a nested if formula and it does break down all those different areas of income and tax them appropriately. And then, then you just divide that by the number of pay periods in the year, and you're going to get your Missouri tax withheld for the paycheck. And then you get pay stubs. You just choose pay stubs, choose dates. You're going to see what the Missouri tax is withheld. And uh, that can be pretty easy if you're not dealing with a, a city like St. Louis or something as well on top of it. So Missouri as a whole, not too bad. Um, definitely have... Uh, I've seen worse, so if you're interested in this payroll and Excel application and you're in Missouri, let me know. If you need St. Louis, I'll add it in, but we'll have um, all the different reports as we do for all the other states. So that's Missouri. Not too bad. We're rolling tonight. We're rolling tonight. Missouri is done, and they have released for 2021, so that's fantastic. So we will be on to, what is that, Mississippi? I've never done Mississippi. M-I-S-S-I-S-S. IPPI. That's the next date we're up to tonight, but that was Missouri. So hopefully if you have withholding in Missouri, it's not going to be too difficult. You just put that formula in there. So payroll should be easy, everybody. So make it so.